Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. We are Monday, the 3rd of June, 2024, and we're looking at this new Ultra Means Chaplin in Terminator armor. Uh, we have had a Chaplin in Terminator armor before, but this is the newer, not scale, the newer sized one, which will please a lot of people, and a lot of other people will not be so happy because now everything doesn't match. But anyway, let's have a look. Looks pretty good. We'll compare the chaplains later. Because I'm held it head. Looks like a, a storm builder, maybe. Does look quite nice. Okay, I'm looking forward to this. It says 14.3 cm. I'm going to unbox and set it up. I'll be back in the instant. Stay tuned. So here he is. And obviously, since we've just had Terminator is released in this same size, 14.3, I think, cm. They're just using that uh, that tooling, changing a little bit, and you can basically get a new figure, which makes sense. Okay, so accessories. He comes with a clear round base we've seen so many times before. He comes with the opposite hand to default. So default, default is right trigger, left gripping. So he comes with right gripping and left trigger here. He comes with this alternate head. It looks quite realistic. It's pretty cool when they're better ones. And his two hand. What is that? A mace or a. I'm not sure what to call this one. A maul, maybe power maul or mace. And a sort of double headed Aquila, a sort of eagle, mace, maul, something or the other. Nice inking on the inside there. But no dry brushing. Uh, please consider joining the Patreon, link in the top right of the screen now. Get to see all the videos before they're published on YouTube, exclusive content from time to time, and prize draws too, including one happening this month, when I will be giving away some uh, Joy Toy Warhammer stuff, so it is worth checking it out. Um, as I said, free for seven days, no obligation to pay or to join afterwards, you can just have a look and then not continue. But if you want to join, it is worth doing. Okay, let's get a close look at this bad boy. Uh, thing to note, the shield... His arm and shoulder and bicep are strong to hold it up, but his wrist joint is not. Additionally, that shield is made, is made for his right arm, not his left, like I'm holding it. And we'll see why in a second. So let's bring him in. So I'll just take the shield off first, and we'll look at that in a bit more detail in a second. Let's take his gun off. Let's get, let's get a look at him first. The gun here, very nice looking. Don't like that seam line down in the center. Other than that, that does look good. And then the shield, again, very nice looking. Let's try and get focused, there we go. And you see he's got this loop. Well, this loop will go through his uh, right arm, and right arm would hold it. And then he's got the shield in a nice position. You don't have to go through the loop, obviously, but that's I'm assuming that's what the loop is for. You can't really stick it over his shoulder because the loop's not big enough to go over the pauldron, but nice looking shield and then the big boy himself any bit more like but there we go so his wrist joints aren't actually strong enough to support the weight of the shield which is a bit of a shame but he does look Good. Very, very nice. And since he's here, let me go through his articulation. Be a few differences, maybe compared to the other Terminators, because of his uh, size of his uh, sort of helmet and whatnot and tubing. But let's see. So he can turn left and right with his head. He's got a small side to side, good forwards, not much, and not bad backwards. Shoulders are all the way around. There is a nice shoulder roll. Uh, you should have articulation on the pauldron. Yeah, it's a bit stiff, that one. Don't break off, please. So I can get the shoulder. Maybe try the other one. That one seems way too stiff. There we go. So I can get the shoulder up to almost approaching flat, which is fantastic. Big improvement. There's the bicep swivel. Bicep bend, he's getting over 90 degrees. 
Then wrist you can twist and you can get articulation all directions. His trunk is a good for his backwards, good side to side. And can turn his waist. Can turn. There is a hard to show though. Forwards, backwards, quite small, side to side, and together, forwards, backwards, side to side, and turn. Hips outwards, not far because of the sculpting. Forwards, you're going to struggle with the other bits and bobs that are on him. The paraphernalia, so not that great. I love the fact that the grip on the bottom. Backwards, not so far. You can see in that little hole there the spark of the metal alloy joint. Thigh twist, double kneecap, but sculpting gets in the way. She's really. They should have shaved off or made that a bit smaller. The back's so over 90. It's about 90. God, now it's not done, doesn't it straighten. Now, what is going on there? Why is my joint not wanting? Oh, I see. It didn't fit in. And then the feet, if you can see the foot here, our same turn, 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 swivel, tippy toe, dorsal dorsiflexation, and he's got the uh, stiff toe articulation. So, decent articulation all around. He's actually a really, really nice looking figure. Maybe I should set him up with that shield in his right arm. You see what I mean? See? He can go through there and he can hold on to that shield on the side. Has he got enough flex though? That's the question. If he's got enough flex to actually wrap enough flex in the actual uh, shield loop. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's too slow. Enough flex in the shield loop to. um. Allow him to hold the shield forwards. Ah! I'm trying to cheat and not take the hand up. You know what that'll do now? Let's have a look. With his fingers, and he might actually do it. I don't. I don't know if he's got enough flex to get his shield around that way when it's around his arm. So maybe I'm wrong about the purpose of that. But on the box, you can see it holding in his um right hand. So, you know, his wrist is not that strong, that's the issue. I think that's why that loop is there, so you can actually hold it up without it dropping down. I'm going to give him one of his uh, hand weapons in this hand here. Let's get him looking at you guys. Very cool. Okay, let's get an idea of size. Let's do a comparison. Oops, sound popped off. I'll compare with quite a few other like figures. Let's get the shield out. Yes, yeah, so I'm assuming that loop is so he can actually hold the shield without the weight dropping down. But you know, if you think otherwise, you know the real reason. Please do comment and let me know. So they said 14.3 cm. Turn that light off now, yeah. And he is, I'm making the very, again, to the uh, very top, I'm making him about six, just over, around six and a quarter inches, around 16 point, maybe one, two cm. So he's a big boy. So let's do a comparison. Let's uh, start off, first of all, with... Primaris Chaplin brother Varus, who's going to be tiny in comparison. And now this is what the sort of this is the sort of size you want to see a Terminator at. Let's then look at Indomitus Chaplin, Ultramarines again. And again, he looks really good. This sort of big, chunky Terminator size. Now, if you want to see how he's improved over the previous Terminator Chaplin, I've got him here. Brother Vanius, this one. And you can see that he is consider considerably bigger than Brother Vanius. And lastly, let's compare him to one of the new Ultramarine Terminators from the Terminator Squad. And as you expect, he scales perfectly well with the other Terminator. Nice release, it's nice to have him in a proper sort of bulky, tall Terminator uh, scale or, yeah, I'd say scale, you know, because the other Terminator was just, you know, he's bulky, but just too short, really. But this guy really feels like a big, chunky Terminator. 
Very nice release. It's a bit surprised that turned up yesterday. They had like two or three deliveries from Joy Toy, and that one was no, no knock on the door or anything. It was just there, like magic. Um, so that was pretty cool. Nice figure again. I think you're into Ultramarines, you're going to like this one a lot because it got a lot of new size, but it's just going to look strange with some of your other figures. Okay, be that's because it's you no know, different scaling and whatnot, different sizes. Okay, so awesome, that's all we're sending out. Saying please like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon. I'll see another video soon. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye bye.